for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from reporter Ali LaForce in a moment. We'll see the New Orleans Pelicans facing the Indiana Pacers. Here we go. And it's going to be the Pacers off the tip. Here's Lewis. A look at the Pelicans' starting group. Down low. Here's Daniels. Howard down after the assist led him to the lane. Well, I'll tell you what, his vertical is awesome off the charts. A short center who still makes his presence felt. Pass to Mashburn. Davis with it. Picked it out of midair. And there's the drive. Shot's good by Granger. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Mashburn. Davis from long range. Rebounded by Daniels. First quarter of play, a minute in. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Personal foul. Yeah, First really team left team him no choice there. I mean, he Pick had to line. foul and keep him from Pick converting the easy bucket. Freddie Lewis. That one misses. Two shots. And he sinks the second. About a minute into this first quarter. Outside Davis. Back to Paul. And no good to start tonight. Missing his first attempt there. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Lewis. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Knocked away. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And the shot goes down. George, no stranger to dealing with contact and still finishing the shot. Pass to Mashburn. Here's Davis. And they pick up two. And that ends their drought. You could feel the frustration building with each miss. Ooh, man, this thing was turning into a soccer game. A lot of action and not many points. Yeah, you know, George really enjoys being in the air. I mean, this guy has great body control and bounce, and his slams at times can be absolutely sick. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Throws it up high, and Davis slams it home. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. To the inside, Daniels. Here's Granger. Drills it from deep. Five points in the game. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Now Paul, an eight-point differential. Outside Davis. Pass to Mashburn. And again, it's Anthony Davis. Davis has got six. And I'll tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, they're trying to close this gap. Always a good option to probe the paint and see if you can get an easy one inside. Daniels, that one's true. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Pass to Mashburn. Pacers foul. Danny Granger. First personal foul. First team foul. Outside Davis. Outside Paul. Clock at six. Here's Mashburn. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. And, you know, that's not how you screen for your guys, but ultimately they still found a way to come away with the hoop. Pass to Daniels. 
And that one's good. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Indiana leading. Over to the left wing. Here's Lewis. And it's blocked by Davis. No, sir. Don't bring that in here. A.D. having none of that. What an imposing figure he is defensively. And stolen by Paul. Inside. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. He does not lack for confidence. And he should. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Time called here. The Pacers decide to talk it over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. A new lineup here for Indiana. Here's Boosie. Pass to McGinnis. And he takes it in for the layup off a of very nice feed. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. And here are the Pelicans now. They trail by seven. Outside Holiday. And here's Ingram. Back to Holiday. Outside Davis. Here's Ball. Got a hand on it. Boy, the size of Smith so intimidating. The seven foot three Hawk. He uses those big hands to turn away shots. Great job drawing the foul. And almost converted the shot as well. Really as close as you can get to an and one right there. He almost had it. He hits the second from the line. And the Pelicans with possession here. Eight point game. Oh, they get a hand on it. Two minutes remaining in the first two minutes. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. And, you know, when you've got a chance to put a team away early, you got to take it. And here are the Pelicans now. Ball outside. Pass to Ingram. Double team on Ingram. Here's Holiday. And he banks in the layup. Really good court awareness that time from Anthony Davis. Seeing the floor and making the right decision. 127 left in the first quarter here. That one's good for two. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Here's Ball. The Pacers making their last shot. Pass to Davis. Shot from the wing. Tries again. And it's going to be a goaltending call here. So they will count the bucket. Good hustle right there. I love that effort. Just a little late in the act. Fifty-eight seconds left in the first quarter here. Right wing. Here's Boosie. Pounded by ball. Pass to Smiths. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Really taking charge of the game, largely with a detailed interior attack. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. Stolen. In transition, here come the Pacers. Ooh, it's slammed in by Oladipo. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Outside Holiday. Ball outside. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Did you guys feel that? When Zion slams it, the floor shakes. To the middle. Deflects the pass. Smith's good. And Indiana leads by 12. 
and the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. And so it's the Indiana Pacers earning this break in the action up 10. They've been aggressive in transition and find themselves in front. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Pacers. Well, it's all fast break points. Those easy buckets. They're so hard to come by in the NBA. So if you get a chance to run, you have to take advantage of it. One other factor today, points off turnovers. I mean, let's see if they can keep up the pressure. Capitalize off more forced miscues. Okay, on the court right now. Second quarter for the Pelicans. Here's Mashburn. Five on the clock. From the top of the key. Well, the quickness of Paul George on defense is something that very few players possess. I think he does a fantastic job rushing guys because of his presence. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Paul with it. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. No good with the elbow jumper. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Pass to Daniels. That three's off the mark. So it's the Pelicans now. Down by 12. Here's Mashburn. Now here's Cousins. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Hey, DeMarcus Cousins is really an effective guy inside. Give him the ball. Here's Boosie. He's guarded by Paul. And they're on the run. Here's Mashburn. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Second personal foul. You know, that CP3 has always got his head up. Man. He's always eager to find the open guy. Here's Boosie. To the paint. Here's O'Neal. Second chance effort. Daniels, that one's true. Give him eight points now. I love his tenacity. Extra possessions, second chance points. That's winning basketball. Outside Davis. Pass to Mashburn. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And the Pacers making a change here. Lewis has checked in. And the Pelicans making a change here. Indiana leading. With the drive. And it's good. Two points. Good heads up basketball. Season opening and capitalizes. Going all in. That was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. Yeah, he's clearly not satisfied with the lead they have. Took it to the rack. It would not be denied. Pass to Davis. Back to Paul. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's West. Six to shoot. And the Pelicans miss again. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Here's Granger. And the layup falls. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle, all day, all the time, cold-blooded, and lethal. And here's Paul. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Mashburn. It's rebounded by Indiana. 
Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. The three, George. Here's Daniels. Oh, he's locked in. Drains his fifth shot in his many attempts. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Timeout called. The Pelicans. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. You know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. And the Pelicans making a change here. Randall has checked in. Yeah, never a bad idea to have Randall with the ball. Just a great passing forward. Here's Lewis. He's guarded by Paul. And stolen by Paul. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Paul hits them both. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Inside, Sabonis. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Excellent pick and roll action that time. Sabonis has great hands, rolls out of the screen effectively and hard, attacks the defense as the roll man. Pass to Mashburn. Here's Wesley. George defending. Now Paul. Tries it from 16, and he's now one for four after that one. Paul is superb in the pick and roll. I mean, once the screen comes, He's really good at taking what the defense gives him. Here's Lewis, and the shot goes in. Five points in the game. <laughs> With his level of quickness, it's tough to keep up defensively. Here's Paul. Pass to Mashburn. Randall with it. The kick out to Paul. Hits the trifecta. Paul. Paul's got seven points in the game. Paul is a more than capable three-point shooter now. He does not need much separation either to get off his shot. To the inside. Here's Granger. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And Indiana leads by ten. Precision pass into the post. Well-earned assist. A minute 58 left to play in the half. Pass to Wesley. Here's Chandler. Up top, Paul. Shoots it from the high post. And the Pelicans get another bucket right there. Chris Paul's mid-range game is good as anybody's in the lead. And once he sees an opening in the defense, he gets busy. Nice one-handed jam. Simple, ineffective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Here's Person. Second shot opportunity. And it's good for two. And that's a backbreaker for the defense. I mean, offensive boards like that run momentum against you. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. Oh, swiped away. Here's Lewis. That one falls. Cashing in on the interior, making it look all too easy. A minute four left to play in the second quarter. Pass to Mashburn. Back to Paul. Randall with it. Back to Paul. Banked it in off the glass. Paul. Paul's got 11 here in the quarter alone. Tell you what, it's really remarkable to see it. Just about six feet tall, and that might be generous. Chris Paul is a dominant player in the painted area, and he does it with skill and craftiness. Randall, the pass to Paul. Here's Mashburn. Here's Chandler. He's guarded by Sabonis. Here's Mashburn. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Here's Person. George, left side. Count it. George has got six. Really difficult to contain Paul George in these pick-and-roll sets. 
because of his speed. I mean, that's one element that gives him a great advantage. He's really good at making decisions in tight spaces and in these pick and roll situations. And so it's the Indiana Pacers up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports. So it's Indiana who's out on top at the half. They lead by 14. Kenny, what's your viewpoint? Well, they knocked the win out of the defense. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shut sure. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Here's Paul. We've got Paul George, and it's O'Neal in at the four. That's the five for the Pacers. Davis from long range. The shot misses, so Indiana will take it the other way. Pass to Granger. Here's Lewis. To the middle. Here's O'Neal. And that one is stuffed right through. What a nasty finish that was. O'Neal playing with a little attitude right now. Here's Mashburn. Outside Davis. Six on the shot clock. Pacers foul, Jermaine O'Neal. Second personal foul. First team foul. Now here's Davis. Not a lot of room. Outside Paul. Just five to shoot. Releases. And too long on the shot. And it's the Pacers with the ball. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Lewis, they grab their own miss, and he dunks it down. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Outside Davis. Back to Paul. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Paul's got 13 now. They are clueless as to how to handle CP3 tonight. I mean, so many ways he can beat you. And he's using just about every one of them here tonight. Down low, Davis. And Davis slams it home. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. And down it goes. Dumped it through off a beautiful setup. Hanging on the rim, just showing off. <laughs> That's how you extend the glory right there. It's the best way to do it, as long as you don't get teed up for it. And it's Paul off the drive. Good on the shot. Paul's got four points this quarter. I tell you what, the speed of Paul is still there. It may be a little deceptive, but it's still real. Hard to keep pace with him on the drive. Outstanding triple drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. They get it back. And it's New Orleans ball. It's a 14-point game. Lays it up and banks it in. He's got 12. These are the shots you want Mashburn taking because he's that good on offense. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Here are your Indiana Holidays check in for New Orleans. That was your Pacers U15. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Here's Boosie. He's guarded by Paul. Holiday grabs the miss. Here's New Orleans now. Down by 12. Outside Paul. Back to Davis. Shot clock at six. And it's New Orleans with another. 
This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that, and now we've got ourselves a ball game. Here's Boosie. He's guarded by Paul. He can't hit that time. Davis with the defensive effort. Outside Davis. Pass to West. That one David falls. West. Coming off Davis' speed. Uh, They're making Davis. smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Zion Williamson has checked in for the Pelicans. Brandon Ingram comes in for Davis. Pass to Daniels. Ooh, Paul with the block. Chris Paul, such an outstanding defensive player, and his teammates appreciate that he gets steals, but he also can occasionally get a block shot, too. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for New Orleans? Their defense has been on point all game long. They're out hustling the shooters and swatting down plenty of shots. Let's make sure we don't overlook the steals they've been able to get now. Those four turnovers have helped them put points on the board and in their pocket. Here's Boosie. Inside. O'Neal. And he goes in for the dunk. And they're still in front, but they desperately needed that hoop to sustain the advantage. They might have the lead, but what they don't have is the momentum right now. So that was a big basket for them. Knocked loose. Ball passes to Holiday. And here's Ingram. Well, you combine his athleticism with his length and his skill set, the versatility of Ingram is hard to guard against. And the first one at the line is good. The Pacers making a switch here. Taking two shots. Hits both from the stripe. Here's Oladipo. Hits a four-point ball game. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. And we have to take another look at that block. Such great timing, defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. Pass to Williamson. Now here's Paul. Over Oladipo, and there's Paul. That one's good on the assist by Williamson. Paul's got 19 points. Got a piece of it. Here's Person, covered by Ingram. Oladipo against Paul. And stolen by Williamson. Indiana foul. Some Michigan. changes for New Orleans. First Cousins, he's ball. checked in for Davis. Third, and it's Ball in for Paul. Checking in for the Pelicans, DeMarcus Cousins. Lonzo Ball. Here's Williamson. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. Williamson's got six. They fought so hard to get themselves in a position to win this game. Extremely impressive was the rally they made. I mean, we'll see how much their comeback might have taken out of them. And, and we'll see if they can keep that foot on the pedal now. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Lewis has checked in for Indiana. Ingram finds ball. Pass to Cousins. Just five on the clock. Here's Holiday. Wing shot on the way. McGinnis with a rebound. Here's Person, covered by Ingram. No, stop it in there! Jams it in, and he's fouled! An opportunity in a three-point play! It's going to go on to Marcus Cousins. 
And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. You know, this is an example of why conditioning can be so important. I mean, it can be critical. They continue to sprint the floor, and there's no let up in sight. Also, guys, they put in maximum effort on the offensive glass. Great determination to follow shots and not giving up on the possessions. First one falls for him. You know, in the case of Drew Holiday, having two brothers in the league, I think probably has added motivation for him to excel. And so it's Indiana with it. They led by as many as 18. And there it is for him. He's got five. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. And here are the Pelicans now. Six-point game. Outside Holiday. 27 seconds left in the third quarter here. Pass to Wesley. Six on the shot clock. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. It's stolen. And here's Holiday. 17-foot shot on the way. That one is off. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth. The Pacers out in front. They're up by six. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the court for the Pelicans, getting the fourth quarter going. Pass to Granger. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. First team foul. At the line. And he makes a first. Danny Granger, two shots. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock him down from the line. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Lewis. Back to O'Neal. Count that one. O'Neal doing a nice job using his frame Ron and strength Lewis. to take the hit and still finish the shot. And it's Pelican's ball. Trailing by 10. Here's Wesley. Back to Davis. Pinsters foul. And the Pelicans making a change here. Ball's checked in. First team foul. Checking in for the Pelicans. Chris Paul. Davis from long range. The Pacers pull it in. Here's Lewis. Pass to Daniels. And score it. That now makes him 7 for 11 in this game. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive pass in the middle. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Paul finds Davis. Here's Mashburn for three. That's basket number Jamal six in eight tries. Jamal Mashburn can certainly take over a game and doing just that here in this one. Here's Lewis. He's guarded by Paul. Here's Daniels. Excellent D there from Davis. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Pass to West. Back to Paul. Six to shoot. From downtown, cash money. Out of his 14 attempts, he's drained nine of them. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. Yes, indeedy. Well done. 
To the inside. Paul. That one falls. Oh. Coming off Davis' feed. Davis has got three assists in the game. And, you know, it seems like Paul has given up inches to almost every other player in the league, but he plays big because he knows how to use his body and he can score inside a lot of different ways he can finish against bigger players. And he converts the layup. Oh. Now just a four-point Indiana lead. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. O'Neal's gone six of seven from the field here. Getting just about everything to drop. Timeout called. The Pelicans. Let me hear you, fans. Get up and get loud. Please give a big round of applause. A chance here to catch up with Pally from the sideline. Thanks so much. I was able to hear New Orleans coach going over their plan during the break. He went after his players about their poor defense in the paint, saying, quote, you're showing no fight down there. You're letting them get any shot they want, and they're feasting on us. Show some toughness and push back, guys. Thank you for that, Allie. To the paint. Daniels, that one's true. And Indiana leads by six. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Back to Paul. Pass to West. Here's Mashburn. And he drops Jamal in the layup Mashburn. off the glass. And this, this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Ooh, putting on a show for the fans. Going up for the free throw first. Oh, that had a little extra sauce on it, Greg. A jaw-dropper emoji is what I look like right now. Incredible. Right side, Davis. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Poise under pressure to produce at the right time in the big time. AD. Now a timeout called by Indiana. Time for your Indiana And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. And it's been a performance that every point guard strives for. Orchestrating, facilitating, keeping everyone involved, creating easy buckets. As a teammate, you love playing with a leader like this. To the middle. Here's O'Neal. His second miss of the game. He's seven for nine. The Pelicans trail. Indiana foul. Danny Granger. Second personal foul. Third team foul. to West. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Davis slams it home. AD doing what he does. 24-7 stuffing that stat sheet. To the inside. O'Neal. Rebounded by West. Ooh, old school right there. No easy buckets. It's tipped to take the lead. And gets Indiana hacked foul. by the D. Now He'll go to the lines. Third personal that is textbook. You're talking to pump fake. Well executed Two that time by David. So Eight good at knowing how to use that shot fake effectively. Here's George. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice Ron setup. And Indiana leads by three. Hey, when you've got a player like George in these moments, you turn to him. He knows how to deliver in the clutch. Pacers foul. Danny Granger, third personal foul, fifth team foul. And that free throw, no good. Jamal Mashburn taking two shots. And the second free throw is good. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. Here's Lewis. He's guarded by Paul. Making sure that he doesn't do half slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him with the score this tight. You cannot take a chance here. 
I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. And the Pelicans call time here. They're down by four. 152 left in the fourth quarter. 152 left in the final quarter. Ball passes to Davis. From seven. O'Neal pulls it in. O'Neal's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Mashburn. Sinks the tray. 21 points in the game. You expect he's going to find a way to pull through in the clutch. Here's Lewis. He's guarded by Paul. Inside. Daniels. And it's out of bounds to Indiana. Pass to Lewis. Down low. Here's Daniels. And he bangs it home with one hand. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finish. Here's Davis. It's deflected. Here's Daniels. Pass to O'Neal. It falls! Hey, it's just good sound basketball when you've got a consistent score like O'Neal. Get him to rock. He knows what to do when he catches it. Outside ball. No good on the triple. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball. It's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that one. Second team foul. Here's Daniels. Pass to Lewis. Misses off the left iron. Outside Paul. Now Davis. It's rebounded by George. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. New Orleans calls timeout. They're down by seven. 23 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Time for your Indiana Pacemates, everyone. Let's get excited. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Mashburn. Tash! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. He's been shooting with great consistency tonight. Love to see that confident play on offense. Boy, talk about staying poised Tyler under Chuck pressure. To the Pacers. Tom Cousins doing work late. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. They're ahead by three. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And now we've got an intentional foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management crucial at this time of the game. Second personal foul. Second free throw. No good that time. He really wanted that one. Oh, just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances. Came up empty. Here's Mashburn. Count it! And that one brings him within one! Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. They're up by one. There's six seconds left in the fourth. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line. He drops the first one. And that'll put him up two. Two shots. So he gets them both. And it's a three-point game. Absolutely massive free throw. That'll force them into a three-point attempt. To force OT. Oh, he had a chance there to send it to OT. But they come up empty-handed. And so it's the Pacers who come out on top here. What a performance they have here at home today. I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. We'll see you later.